Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be looking at Ciate London's The Velvet Palette. So I did get this in my BoxyCharm and I just have had issues um, with Ciate London of like, they're not necessarily that like cheap, but let's just turn this over so we can kind of see. So their sticky ability is not the greatest. So that's kind of upsetting that parts are kind of falling out. So it's definitely a palette to be careful with. And I did have it with their confetti highlight that it kind of bursted apart. So it definitely does not travel well. So if anything, I'd be like, this probably isn't a palette to take on vacation with. Um, but I do think they are nice colors. So I am going to go in with this um, corally look. Corally color. Itchy. To just go above my crease. I'm just going to kind of keep it on that outer side not going all the way in I do think it's nice that the like they kind of put like a stamp in it and that there's like the little pattern I'm just going to pinch my brush and take that to my lower lash line. I think they're just like really, so it is like different colors. I like, I don't know. To me, the colors, I just feel like, uh, like the crease is so pinky. I don't really feel those pinky colors in there. So next I'm going to go in to, and like, they don't have names for them. So this kind of mauve purple shade, I don't think that's mauve the color of the crease. Aubergine. And just kind of define that outer corner. So I did get some fallout even though I'm tapping off. But I do think the colors kind of do blend nicely. Uh, I am just going to, to help the color pop, use some concealer so with a flat eyeshadow brush, or even like your concealer brushes. Just taking some concealer. Applying this on the lid. I always like to kind of do one eye at a time, going a little a bit above my crease. And then just with my finger, I am going to go into this sparkly pink shade on 
just dab it on. So I wanted more of like, the shade has like a little bit of those like micro glitter. So I wanted it a little brighter, but it's almost like that foiledness. I'm not liking how the shade is performing. So I did mess up a little with my chunky fingers just to kind of see like how do I get this color to work So it definitely looks darker in the palette than what I thought. I feel like I'm definitely not liking this palette. Going in with an eyeshadow brush, I'm just going to kind of go into this darker pinky shade. And apply. So I think like they blend nicely. I'm not exactly happy with like the pigmentation. What it looks like in the palette versus how it's kind of translating to my eye <clears throat> is really not ideal. There's like fallout even though like I'm like tapping off and there's not that much product on the brush. And then like just like the packaging and quality issue. And it's like they're not really that exciting of colors. Going back into that purple shade just to kind of deepen up. Like so on this side, I'll just kind of show you. So if we can kind of see that difference from putting that concealer base on without, it's just making that color a little bit more pop. Where I was like, did this concealer make a difference? So just kind of going back in. So I would say if you're a deeper hue, you probably do want to go with the concealer base. With shape tape, a little goes a long way. <sighs> and it's just getting everywhere on all my brushes. So I'm just kind of uh, 
rubbing my finger back and forth and then just patting it on I just want it right to go above my crease. So you can always like touch up so things look nice and even. Just with a clean blending brush going in. And again, going into that purple brown shade tapping off and just kind of running that corner I forgot about this pink metallic shade to kind of blend the two Going back in. And then I'm just pinching that purpley brown shade and kind of taking a little bit to my lower corner and above. Popping on some mascara and I'm using my Wanderer Mile High Club. So for me in this palette, like, can you get a makeup look with it? Yes. Um, just kind of going in and doing swatches. The pigmentation is really lacking there for me. The second row is a little bit better. And I also just find like for such a mauvey outside the colors inside to me just don't really match like I don't get that mauve pinkness that I would expect from the color of the case like to me it's definitely more of like these oranges right um I'm kind of disappointed that the colors, like the little eyeshadow palettes themselves, are kind of coming up. I do think like if you're new at doing your makeup and you want colors with like subtlety, then it's not so bad. But I just feel like the colors that I was looking at in the palette didn't really translate those shimmer shades you're definitely going to want to put a concealer so you can make this palette um work i just find it slightly disappointing um and i think like out of the gate with like eyeshadows not being stuck in it just makes you wonder about the quality so i am going to go in with my Steve Laurent Jelly Highlighter. So I don't know why they call it jelly. It's more like a putty just because I uh, dabbed my finger in it. So it does like, it's like squishy. So just kind of highlighting. You can definitely, for those who are like, oh God, your fingers and everything, you can use your brushes. So, uh, I took down like my brushes from where they are and of course 
Um, so this is a clean brush. It's just dyed a little pink. But of course, I did not bring my all my highlighter ones done down. Just kind of going in. As I'm going in, it's a very like putty texture. But I think it gives you just a nice little highlight. I'm just kind of staying at home so I can put on some face products because I definitely find um, not going or like having to put on a mask. Like, I don't want to put other things because masks are killing my skin right now. So I like to highlight the bridge of my nose, my eyes of my cheeks, a little bit of my cupid's bow, kind of like under that brow bone. can just add a simple little pop. It's definitely if you want that like narrow kind of bridge to your nose a simple highlight can go a long way um so i do like this one i was a little worried because it did have that crack in it so that's why i kind of paired these together when like sometimes your packaging expectations you're like oh so this one like the packaging quality wasn't the greatest and like to me that tra like that transfers into their shadows for this you know like it's cracking there it makes me a little concerned but the product per performs so I think sometimes with packaging it might not be always the greatest things like that happen um, it doesn't always mean the quality of the product is going to be compromised but sometimes it does so thanks so much for watching guys I hope you have a great day bye